Do you know what feels good? Being organized. And you know what I'm doing right now? I am continuing on my mission to make my house in every drawer, every closet in it look like this. So today we're gonna to address this random closet I have in my bedroom. Thank God for this closet because I don't have a linen closet anywhere in my house. So I use it for my towels. But then I also have all this other junk that I need a place to store it. And every time I open that closet, it's like, ah, it's embarrassing. Well, the very first thing that I realized I needed to do is I needed to kind of rearrange the shelves in my closet. I mean, one of them was so high, there's no way I could ever reach it. I'm not a very tall person. Well, part of the problem is there are two shelves up here. I actually just took out all the other ones that were stacked here. And all these wires that used to go to a sound system in here that's not being used anymore, no one, no one uses that technology. So I'm gonna to try to make the most of my space by organizing it in that regard first, and then I'll start organizing the stuff that's in there. Then I had to empty out my entire closet, including the drawers below, just so I could see what in the world I had. So I gathered up all the stuff that was already in my closet, put it in these bins, and gave it a go. I actually ordered online through Amazon, and if you're interested in these, of course, I have an Amazon storefront. We'll put links in the description box below. But I ordered all these containers, not even being sure exactly what was gonna fit. I tried to get things that were not very tall because my space here isn't very tall, but I also wanted things that I didn't have to pull all this out and unstack it every time I wanted to get something. Now, some of these are stacked. Let me explain it to you. Drawers, look at that. These are drawers and they have the potential to have dividers in them. So as I decide what's gonna go in these, I'll be able to make that decision if I need to divide it. If not, it's right here and they stack on top of each other. Now I need to decide what goes in which drawer. There are some, however, that are not drawers, they are stackable. So my plan is to put things on the bottom that I don't use as often so I can easily just pull these on and off and they all have lids. So it should make it really nice. Oh, and one last thing, bam, all of my drawers are empty. <gasps> can you imagine? I could go shopping. Well, we'll see. We'll see if all this fits without having to go into the drawers. If it does, I personally vote myself genius. Yeah. <laughs> So trying to decide what to name this, and I've got like cotton balls and Q-tips, but I also had these. And so they're not all the same thing. I, I guess what do you call them, wipes or something? Hello. But you know what these are? This is the result of borrowing, um, well, what are they? Toilet seat covers. These are toilet seat covers. And I cut them up. And here's why, okay, it's a blotter, watch. This is embarrassing, right? I'm showing you what I do with toilet seat covers. At least I don't do it after I've used the toilet seat cover. I don't know if you can tell, but it blots the oil off of your skin without removing the, um, you know, without removing your makeup. I think I'll do this on post-its because I wanna make sure I put the right thing in the right space. Gloves. Look at how many gloves I have. I am ready for the next round of COVID, should it ever come about. Yep. This one is makeup. Well, no, it's skincare. Skincare. Extra toothbrushes. I have Paula Dent. Now, I don't wear dentures, but I at one time had Invisalign, like you have for braces, you know, and you're supposed to clean your Invisalign with Paula Dent. I don't do Invisalign, in it, I probably could get rid of this. Although, at my age, you never know, this might come in handy. I think I'll keep it. Wow, I got lots of extra space. Wow. What do I do? Okay, I'm gonna get the feet. Underneath here, if you put the little stopper foot on it, 
it keeps it, it sort of gives it some rubberized traction. So see, they don't move in and out so easy. Now, feet. Try not to watch. <laughs> Definitely. Don't look. It's embarrassing. And a tiger off the leash with my mind. I only have three polishes. Should I put this in with feet? Do you use it on your toes? Actually, I only use it on my keys. Your time is up. Your time is up. This is the next thing I need to clean up. Let's be now. I'm undefeated. I'm so it seems like I've got lots of, like, you know, I know you'd think that I had twisted my arm a bunch of times to have all these ace bandages. So, listen, if you're gonna sprain your arm, my house is the place to do it, I think. Lysol disinfectant spray. I have all this sand, han sand sanitizer. <laughs> sand sanitizer. I have Benadryl, you know, Sporin. So this skincare and makeup are two big categories for me. One being, well, so I have some tools. These are actually things that you use on your face. So I, this, this guy here, this is how women can shave. I've never used it, <laughs> but if you have like, like fine hair on your face, you can do that. Then there's this guy. This is a, I don't know what it's for, but I watched a YouTube video on it and it's supposed to, I don't know, massage you. But this guy, this is suspect. I don't even remember why. Whoa, and I don't know why that goes in and out. But you're supposed to roll it. Now that seems, I don't know, like you're giving yourself, I don't know, microdermabrasion or something. Yeah, but then you can, oh, then you go like this and you rub a ball all over your face. Clearly, these things have not worked, but I spent a lot of money on them and I'm not getting rid of them. This is, well, kind of. This is Clark from Robinson Glass. And you're coming to like do a miracle, like a, a Rebecca needs help thing. So oh, it's the inside, inside of these doors, and I'm just now organizing all this crap. All right. <laughs> so all right. I just thought, you know, this is good for when you go like this and you go, mm -hmm. how do, does my butt look big in this? Can Never. I? Right, but see? We don't sell those kind of mirrors. Oh, good, good. All right, Lord, don't let me screw this up. Just took a picture of that, so I know what's underneath those labels. But I don't need to see them; they're just ugly. What a day! It's done, but there's one last thing that I want to include in this. Are you ready? What do you think? Do you love it? Oh my gosh. All right, let's go from the top. Look at my towels. Now I've got my bath towels. I have bath sheets. I have hand towels and washcloths, all easily accessible. And I can even reach the ones on the top. And for a little tiny person like myself, that's not easy to do. Right here, tweezers, fashion fixers. You know what that is. You know, those things that you cover up or you tape up or you, you know, fix your fashion. Uh, and then I have sewing supplies here because there's always gonna be a button that needs to be sewn on. Next to that, first aid, that's where I put my Neosporin, and then I have my Band-Aids and then bandages. 
I mean, one must wonder if I'm expecting some sort of a broken wrist anytime soon because I got a lot of ace bandages. I also have two flashlights because it could get dark. There could be an emergency. I do live in Oklahoma. It's always possible. Then I have skin tools. You saw those when I was putting them in, right? Some of those look a little scary. Apparently, some say they're working. Then I have makeup here and skincare here. As I go down, these, you know what this is? These are my illustrious pillows. You know how I'm like obsessed with pillows. So remember my organization in my kitchen video? I took all those little balls out. That's because I had those special pillows and this is where they stay when they're not on my bed. Then I have foot care, alcohol, and this is not wine. This is actually rubbing alcohol and alcohol pads. But guess what else? I had so much extra room left over that I went down to my drawers. Do you notice anything different here? Yes, I put on some handles. Look at these beautiful handles. Now, I just pull the drawer out and this is all of my computer. I have an extra computer, cords, you know, all your little cubes that you use for your USB and the HPC and the CLS and yeah. You can take all this stuff that you have in your house and put them in one location. So when someone says, hey, I need a USB cube. Oh, it's upstairs in my bedroom, top drawer. Right there, and it's so easy to find. I'm, I'm expecting life to get simpler. Right here, I've got extra blankets because this is essentially like a linen closet for me. So I do have towels and I have blankets. And then on the bottom drawer, this is where I put all my extra books, books that I'm reading, my Bible, my Bible study, things like that. Besides the obvious, which is getting all of my stuff into small organized containers that I can see, the labels on the front is really gonna help me stay organized and efficient with my time. I personally am so excited about this new addition to my bedroom. I know I have all this stuff and it's, you know, I went through and I got rid of a lot, but the things that I kept, I need. But do I need them at my fingertips in my bathroom? And do I have space in my bathroom? No. Do I need them at my fingertips in my closet? No, I need them here. And right now they're at my fingertips and I'm so excited about that. So let me just encourage you guys to think about what you could do in your own spaces to make a difference. What closet do you open and you go, oh, one of these days I gotta clean this out. Which drawer do you avoid going into and yet you have to all the time? What brings you joy and what depresses you? And then pick one, take a weekend and make it happen. Do something different to make a difference. Now, remember on my Amazon storefront, all of these different containers are gonna be linked for you if you're interested in any of them. Just know that um, all of this stuff that's happened here, including adding hardware handles to the drawers, lining my drawers with um, marbleized wallpaper, and the addition of mirrors on either side of the closet as you open the doors. Again, when you have it like that, you can adjust them and you can see yourself from the back, something that a lot of us never ever get to do. We are counting on someone to say, you've got toilet paper hanging out of the back of your pants. You have mirrors like this, you won't need that anymore. All right, you guys, love you. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. When is next time? It's next Thursday at two o'clock central, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.